about 87% of my Halloween costume because my life is only about 87% together at any given time which is also why I didn't do this live like I wanted to I wasn't sure if my computer could handle the girth my internet had the capacity to oops, live stream me making this spooktacular vegan oh wait I gotta take this off vegan charcuterie chateau please excuse my squeaky floors so anyways, I am not vegan. No, I did not recently turn vegan, but I am going to a Halloween soiree this evening and there will be a vegan friend. So what I don't want to do is be inconsiderate of her lifestyle. So here we are. Some of these things I've DIY'd, some of these things I bought. <clears throat> My most exciting thing is this! Wait, hold on. Shoot, I want to take a little, uh, what's that called? Film shot before. Also, Ellen, if you're watching this, full disclosure and honesty, I lost, oh gosh, the, um, I lost the disposable camera that you got for me, that you gave to me when I went to Japan after leaving. Wait. <laughs> I can't take this with it on it. Silly goose. Um, well, I'm not gonna look, so I hope that's okay. Let me bring it closer. Cool. Um, yeah, I lost it somewhere in Japan and it really makes me sad because there's some great photos on that. Anyways, back to this vegan chocolate chocolate that will be very spooky and extra for apparently no reason. No apparent reason because I am extra. Like, why do I have to be partially dressed in my Halloween costume. Literally no reason. Okay, this, I got this for one cent at Dollar Tree and it was like supposed to be a, I mean it is technically still, a um, solar, well no it's not anymore, <laughs> a solar powered skull and I got it for one cent. Like it was crazy and super duper exciting. I'm probably, possibly, not going to communicate the whole time just because, I mean, I could. I could talk about something spooky like fears or my views on veganism, but that feels amoral. So, <laughs> we'll probably go with the uh, spookiness. But before I get to spookiness, I should probably talk about these ingredients. So anything I do, I like to try to, you know, do well. So I made sure to do research on the best, most flavorful vegan um, broth. And I found this really obscure broth called Zoop. And it had like, you know, people were like, yo, this broth is the bee's knees. It's amazing. It's awesome. So I was like, okay. And they said it kind of had a meaty flavor to it. So I found a grocery store that happened to hold it. Oh, also, right here, my like secret, um, my secret mode, my secret trick, my secret trick, yeah, there we go. My secret trick to finding obscure items at grocery stores or like finding out if your grocery store has it is by going on Instacart. And Instacart will show you all of the stores near you with a particular item. So you don't have to like, you know, waste the broadband of your heart going from store to store trying to find these really obscure items and you can just know from the jump like hey they do or do not have this thing speaking of this thing i don't think this is gonna fit on there let me just visually oh i mean it could let's try it okay so this thing that i'm moving right now is like it's actually tofu and i had wanted to get a super duper soft tofu, like the tofu that they use for dofa. Um, there's like this tofu dessert in Taiwan that some people really enjoy. Can't say I'm some people, but I wanted to get super duper duper soft tofu and soak it in something. I did get tofu and I soaked it in something, but it's not the super duper soft one, it's the regular one. Honestly, if it was extremely soft, it would have been extremely difficult to work with. So I'm kind of glad it's the firm one. Oh, and it's not like firm, sorry, my bad. The firmer one. 
Um, so basically, I made a bath, <laughs> a little bubble bath, if you will, without bubbles, for that tofu. And it has marin, some Oatly nutritional yeast white pepper maybe some I don't know I really just like put a lot of things in there that started to have um, a little bit of flavor to them okay so now I think I'm gonna have to reduce the size of this oh yeah I forgot to mention this is also the first time in my entire life doing something like this like I barely have even made what are those things called um la -la -la. Do, 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 do. gingerbread houses before so this is very much so an experimentation and it can go very not as planned but I don't really know what the plan is I guess the plan is for things to work out well so my problem now is that these bread things are real thick like a lot thicker than I had planned for so I could cut this down, which would probably be the easier version, and it's not like it's that delicious. I mean, it is pretty decent, but eek! Okay, let me go get a knife. Um. Yeah. So, I mean, to be honest, this tofu tastes pretty good, but it's not like oh my gosh this is the best thing in the world in my mind it's probably the best out of all of these things here and i am going to give it a little taste test and i'm not going to stand here and lie to you about how delicious something is or isn't or how much it does or does not mostly does not taste like real life cheese but for what it is it tastes pretty delicious okay let me wipe up a little bit and then Make sure that that's the right height for the cover because what we don't want is to have a lot more disappointment than we need to. Speaking of disappointment, this, uh, ooh, 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 okay. This camera only lasts for uh, 20 minutes of recording and the whole plot is that I won't edit this except for adding sound because it would have been a real travesty if I make this whole thing with my sound in the background to Bach and, uh, what's his name? Beethoven? Moonlight Sonata? And only to find out that I have used copyrighted versions. Not cute, but very, very spooky. Eee, da da da. Um. Okay, so I got a couple of vegan cheeses that were store-bought, and I also tried to DIY some. This tofu was one of the DIY experiments, and I'm kind of scared about that black cheese that you see sitting there. Not because it's black, but because... Well, yeah. Because it just looks moldy. And I guess that is what cheese is, but like, I don't like to be reminded that cheese is mold. You know, I like to live in my little, okay, I should, my little fantasy world. Ooh, I don't like this at all at all. Okay, I'm gonna do one last, well, honestly, this is very dangerous, but I'm just gonna try to, this off into this, I guess. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the meats, I guess that's gonna be my transition sound. <laughs> so the meats, um, well, quote unquote meat, it's actually vital wheat gluten, and I did not do the um, washed flour version because it just honestly sounded like a lot more work than I should be doing for this. Um, so I just had some, I actually had vital wheat gluten, like just, you know, laying around because I had planned to add it to some vegan, wow, my battery's about to die? How long has it been? Nine minutes already? Oh my gosh. Okay, just kidding. I am going to have to edit this because we're not going to get anywhere. Or 
I could just make like multiple, you know, uh, 20 minute pieces and then piece them together. Oh man, I did not expect my life to be this way. Okay, this is like a, um, oh my gosh, how do they do this for like Food Network challenges? Because these people create like masterpieces in about three seconds. So like the fact that nine minutes has passed and I have barely gotten into the surface of my castle. Oh shoot, that's backwards. No. It's really uncomfortable. And now I feel fully deceived because, oh shoot. Wow, this is gonna be a lot of, ooh. This is one hell of a thing. Okay, yeah, this is definitely not something that can occur live. So, <clears throat> I will return back with another segment, another clip, another Okay, right, so what I was saying was uh, this is supposed to be like that um, garlic cheese spread from Walsing. I really like their garlic cheese spread and it's like, sorry, their garlic herb cheese spread, that's what it is. It's super duper delicious. I guess this uneven stuff is a kind of spooky look. That's, that's nice, we're here for spooky aesthetics. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. This is supposed to be an A-frame and it's definitely not looking like an A-frame, so. Um, that's fine too. I wanna take this spooky black, okay, no, I'm gonna have to cut this down. This cutting down really cut into my uh, preparation time, which is very unfortunate because I really didn't plan to deceive anyone today, but here we are with deception this early in the day, this early in the morning. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. To. I set up set apart a little piece over here so I can taste it and give you guys an actual IRL review. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I mean, it's interesting. It's not bad. It's supposed to be a black garlic fermented cashew cheese. It's pretty creamy. It tastes very um vinegary. And, hmm, it doesn't taste like cashew at all, which is really nice. Like usually when you have a alternative cheese, an alternative cheese, a, an alternative cheese, yeah. It uh, very much so tastes like its predecessor, but this is definitely on some identity witness protection program stuff. Oh, eek. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Now it's all tarnished. It's probably really worthless of me to not um, attach that with anything. I'm just laying it here. I probably will attach it later. to check back every couple of moments just to make sure it's actually still recording 
after realizing that my battery went from 100 to zero real quick. This actually looks dope. Like that's super duper cool. This is exciting. I gotta put a couple of trees in here. Probably put them in the blackberries. recipes that I used for these things um they're really like more so just my inspiration recipes like I didn't follow them uh you know directions I didn't follow the directions very well because my mom is a chef and she has taught me to never trust a new recipe so I don't and here we are usually like I mean honestly the biggest thing about cooking and recipes and things tasting it is just tasting what you've made. A lot of the times we just like take recipes for what they are and what they say and just, you know, make them and eat them and we're not tasting along the way to be like, hey, does this actually need more salt or does this taste good? Or maybe it needs some more acidity. A lot of the times um, things that are lacking in umame and umame is the thing that gives that body yaddy 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 and what makes things taste really good. So when it doesn't have umame, it has like a very surface level taste. And one of the like very, very cheap and quick ways, when I say cheap, I mean like the move is a cheap move, um, is adding thyme. Like thyme really adds a lot of robust flavor to things for literally no reason. Like it is... Zabop. Mm -mm. Adding pomegranate to the back of the skull to make it look like some brains because that's a cute look. I also didn't even get to put this on. Um... Oh shoot, that's gonna take way too much time. This cheese is like a uh, Parmesan and it's from Vio Life. Also was on the list for most delicious vegan cheeses. We'll see about that. I haven't tasted it yet, but when I opened the package, it smelled exactly like Daya. D I don't know how you pronounce their name, but they have like vegan mac and cheese. And I tried it one time. Again, not because I'm vegan, but because dairy is sinful. You can hear about my thoughts on dairy another time. But um, it smells exactly. All right, so before we got so rudely interrupted, I was supposed to be tasting this Parmesan cheese. I mean, it does taste very similar to the Daya um, mac and cheese, which again, doesn't really do it for me. I think that if this was like grated on something, you know, maybe I'd be feeling a little bit more je ne sais pas. But as is, it's really not the look for me personally. It tastes very firm. Um, it doesn't taste chalky, which is nice, which is also the thing that I like about the um, black garlic, what do they call it? Black garlic cashew, fermented cashew product. Wow, this is entirely too small. Um, it, I don't really know how to describe it, except for it tastes exactly like that Daya mac and cheese. D-A-I? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, so as a, um, cheese eater, etc., nobody could trick me into thinking I'm actually having cheese, but I guess if I'm, like, looking for a, if I don't think that I'm eating cheese, right, I'm just like, hey, here's this white block of life and meat, then maybe I'd be like, oh, it's not too shabby but like you know to think about it as cheese definitely is not 
hitting the the spot and that's the same thing for the spread that i made like it it's it reminds me more of a hummus than it does a cheese spread but i mean that's okay the whole point of being vegan is not to replace the things that we're used to eating well not we me because i'm not but for those people who are Okay, they're entirely too much. I really underestimated how small this thing was and how much food would actually not fit on it. Like, there was one point that I was like, you know, I probably have too many things for this, but I never really, you know, let that stop me. And now, here we are with it stopping me. I don't have a lot of meat on this at all. The meat actually tastes pretty good. Right, so vitamin B gluten. Um, what else should I say about it? Oh, I wonder if I should pull this all the way around. Heavily seasoned. I read a lot of article things, reviews, articles, questionnaires, of people wondering or like worrying about the very like gluten-y taste that comes from um using it but i haven't really i mean i didn't get to experience such a disappointment because i read about like adding acidity to kind of get rid of it and i mean it's worked well for me i don't taste anything that tastes off brand off kilter but i also don't know what it would taste like without it so i can't really talk about how well it did or did not cover up that gluten flavor but they taste pretty decent to me. Out of all of the alternative things that I made, I think that that tastes the best. Um, what else should I talk about? I should talk about more flavor notes. Oh, this. Yikes. So this is my DIY cheese that honestly is not the boppiest. I made it um, with milk and basically agar-agar, not real milk, <laughs> clearly, woo, just scared all the vegans out there. I used the Silk Ultra Protein one because one of my subscribers, Detox My Life with Tina Cole, mentioned it as being like a skiddy doo bop bop so I was like, okay, let me see how this cheese is, I mean this, what is it, milk, oh shoot, whatever, let me see how this milk is, and honestly, Oatly is still number one for me. She mentioned it was extremely creamy, which is why I use it. Like, so creamy to the point where she can't even, like, um, what's it called? Use it for just drinking. Like, she uses it for smoothies and stuff. So I was like, this would be a pretty good candidate to make some fake cheese. Here's the thing with it. It is very creamy. However, it also is very chalky, which is not a cute look. For me at least, I mean maybe that's look for some people, but because of that, it definitely was not hitting in all the spaces for me. The cheese that I ended up making is rather soft. It would be a lot better as like a cheese sauce than a hard cheese cube. Um so that isn't necessarily the cutest, however, can't complain because at the end of the day it's it's not that bad it's honestly i really don't like the texture of it in this cube space which is why it would be really good creamy i'm hoping that it will taste like a lot better if it's on a cracker and with some of my zeet my fake meat my sausage my zalami um but like by itself it's definitely it needs some assistance it needs to be in a group project with someone that knows what they're doing and ooh. Ooh! Hey, I got my brains. I think I wanna make this like a little bit shorter so I can put this in here. Oh, yikes, well. Oh man, okay, let me take off a couple more. I really like pomegranate. I don't know why, but Brandon thinks that pomegranate tastes like a Whopper. And I was like, I don't know which kind of Burger King you're eating at, but this, how, where, like, is it me? Like, am I the one that's missing how a pomegranate tastes exactly like a Whopper? Or, or is that a, a him situation? <laughs> Good 
thing I have more. Now I'm definitely gonna add this little cream later so that we don't have another mishap like that again. That was such a nice piece of vegan bread. Right, okay, so as I was saying at some point, I'm going to link the um, recipes that I use as guidelines and adding in kind of like all of the things that I changed up a little bit. I'm gonna try to my best to replicate the um, bubble bath that I made for the, what's that thing called? Um, that I made for the tofu, because it, the tofu actually tastes pretty good. It has like a wine undertone just because of the mirin that I used for it. But um, besides that, um, it tastes, you know, very much, it doesn't taste like tofu, but it feels like tofu in terms of having a very light, light flavor to it and um, not really having like, you know, that dense creaminess that cheese really like shines with. Like that's really the whole concept of um, the cheese. These roses are, um, it's actually to make rose tea. I make a lot of teas usually, uh, and I like whole leaf. So, not just because it's aesthetics, but uh, it just tastes better. So, and also I like the you know the fanfare of putting together uh, tea. I put these little roses in the eye. You guys have no idea how excited I was when I was able to successfully perform brain surgery on this little skull to take out all of the hardware for the solar panel stuff which i mean you know it's cute don't get me wrong i mean the concept of it is cute but not actually in oh, not actually how it looked like these roses in the eyeballs like come on i wanted to make like a little tiny um graveyard oh man in the front but clearly this space was a lot smaller than I imagined it to be. And that's okay, because sometimes it be like that. Wow, there's no reason why I should have actually made that basket, but your girl left a record at her school for most three-pointers in a season. I was not that amazing. It's just that my team, my school, you know, wasn't very, aw, wasn't really, uh, the strongest so I made a lot of shots just hoping because I felt like I couldn't pass them to my teammates <clears throat> nothing wrong with group projects we love human beings oh okay I don't think that's meant to be or maybe I just need to go on the other side and actually respect somebody oh this is extremely high I never really, I mean, I had always wanted to be a doctor when I was younger. When I say always, I really mean just this one birthday. I wanted to be a doctor and I remember it was all doctor themed. And my mom had, <laughs> she had this cake that had like, you know, oh, I forgot I have one of those little needle things. Bro, I really wish I had more space for all of this because it would be so cute. Okay, that's gonna have to be enough of that. I didn't even put a raspberry on here. It's okay, good thing I actually like all of these things and I can eat them separately. I wonder if I should put them on the top. Nah. I'm gonna put some more of these in that though. Um, yeah, so thanks for coming along to this very slight train wreck. Uh, I hope that it's edible. <laughs> Most of the things, they're like, okay, again, they're not gonna like convince you to change your entire life, but they're like, hey, this life isn't bad. Okay, I think I'm done. It's definitely not how I imagined it to be, but it's not bad. It's not bad.